Welcome to the prayer altar in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Let us dedicate our minds, our hearts, our souls, our spirits to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let us dedicate our environments. Let us dedicate the atmosphere to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father Jehovah God, we thank you. We worship you. We honor you. We glorify your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you are the living God. You are the eternal God. You are the immortal God. You are the invisible God. We worship you. We praise you in the name of Jesus, my Father. We worship you. We praise your name. We glorify your name in the mighty name of Jesus, the invisible God, the eternal God, the immortal God, Jehovah God who sits upon the throne, the composer, the conductor, and the, the creator of everything, visible and invisible, things that are seen, things that are not seen, things that are greater, things that are smaller, the things in the oceans, the things that are in the hills, in the mountains. You created the oceans. You created the mountains. You created things small, big and small. You created the creeping things. You created the flying things. You created the walking things. You created the things in the sea. You created the insects. You created, oh God, yes, the birds of the air. You created everything, oh Father. And you know it by know them by name, one by one. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We worship you that you are our God. You are such a great God. The one who knows every creature in the sea, in the season. We praise your name, O oh Father. You know everything, O oh God. My God, my Father, it's you who created them. My God, my Father, I worship your name. Such an awesome God. Glorious God, we praise you. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Father. Thank you, my Father. That you, though you be that terrible, though you be that awesome, but you've made yourself available to us. You made a provision for us. Yes, to approach you with no fear, with no, with no intimidation. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We worship you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Our Father who is in heaven. Yes, let your name be held in honor. Let your name be reverenced. Let your name be glorified in our hearts, in our families. Yes, oh God, in our env environments, in our neighborhoods, oh God. Let your glory, oh God, Jehovah, fill the whole earth as the waters cover the whole sea, the seas, in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, we worship your name, oh God. We glorify you, Lord. Yes, oh God, we gl glorify your name. Thank you for giving us this time of prayer. Thank you, Father, for giving us the blood of Jesus that qualifies us to come into your presence. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that is speaking on our behalf. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. The mechanism that you have put in place, oh God, has to cleanse us, to wash us clean. Yes, the best detergent that takes away every sin and every transgression in our lives. Father, we thank you for that blood of Jesus that was shed once and for all for the forgiveness of our sins. The blood of Jesus that is speaking victory on our behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that will never lose its power. That is working in our minds, in our souls, in our spirits, in our bodies. The blood of Jesus that is protecting us. The blood of Jesus that is covering us. The blood of Jesus that is speaking a future for us. The blood of Jesus that is speaking disaster to the enemy. The, the, the defense mechanism of the blood of Jesus that you have given to us. That no foe, no enemy, no witch, no wizard can withstand it in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Yes, Lord, we repent from every sin, every transgression, presumptuous sins, the things that we have said, the things that we have done, things that offended you, Father. We pray that you forgive us. Yes, wash us clean with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything that the enemy has thrown into our lives to try and pollute us, Father, let them be washed away by the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus, yes, purge our conscience from dead works 
that we may be able to worship you in spirit and in truth, that our prayers may not be hindered. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God, thank you, Father, that you are our God and you are with us and your glory is sitting, is settled right on our your houses right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for your glory. Thank you, oh Father, for your presence. Thank you, Father, for the pillar of fire by night that is settling upon our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, your manifest presence moving with us wherever we are. In the mighty name of Jesus, we praise your holy name, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, all the glory and the honor be unto you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in our session right now. Spirit of Jesus, Spirit of God, Spirit of Truth, Spirit of Truth. Yes, the Spirit of prayer. Yes, you are welcome right here in our session. In the mighty name of Jesus, we welcome you, Spirit of God. We welcome you as the, our advocate. We welcome you, our intercessor. The one who is standing by and strengthening us in the inner man with might. We thank you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. And we welcome you right here in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Thank you even for your word, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we are presenting our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and unacceptable before you. Yes, oh God, yes, receive our sacrifice, receive our prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Father, let nothing hinder our prayer, even as we pray right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father, that you are always hearing us. And it's you who is calling us to, to come to the prayer altar. And you said, call upon me, and I'll answer you, and I'll show you great and mighty things which you have never known. And we are coming to pray right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for settling everything in our lives, Lord. Thank you, Father, for proving us uh, yes, to be true to your word. Thank you, O oh, Father, for showing yourself strong on our behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus, we magnify your name forever and ever. We magnify your name in this session. In the name of Jesus, thank you for your people that are coming right here. Thank you for meeting them at their point of need. In the mighty name of Jesus, we worship your holy name, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We take authority over any satanic power that wants to militate against our prayers. In the name of Jesus. Any spirit of discouragement. Any spirit that wants to water down our faith in our God. Any spirit that wants to trivialize our prayers. We command you to be scattered by the fire thunder of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we resist you by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, any appearances of evil, we reject it. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, that our atmosphere is charged by the blood of Jesus. That our environment is charged by the blood of Jesus. Our prayer rooms now are charged by the blood of Jesus. Yes, the atmosphere is covered and is charged by the fire of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, any power that is cursing our prayer altar, we command you to be silenced by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, any satanic agenda that is praying yes, against our prayer altar, we command you to be scattered by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, in the name of Jesus, any satanic shrine, any shrine of the Sangoma that is speaking and offering evil prayers, and evil sacrifices against our prayer altar. We command you uh, to catch fire and burn to ashes. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, there is no weapon of darkness formed against us that shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil tongue uh, that is speaking evil against us. Uh, as we pray. We command it to be silenced by fire. We command it to be silenced uh, by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Thank you, Father, for total victory. Thank you for your warrior angels, Lord, who are standing by, ready to take action as per our prayer. We thank you, Father, for the bonfire of the Holy Spirit that is burning continually upon our prayer altar. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to the prayer altar 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're continuing to pray. We are not looking back in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord give you strength to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Men ought to always have to pray and not faint. Hallelujah. We had a glorious time with my mother earlier on. Hallelujah. Talking about the family. Talking about the establishment of God. Talking about the order of God in the family. That was fantastic. Hallelujah. 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 And, and I've just noticed that so many of us, we are benefiting from your teachings. Hallelujah. And we'll call again, and as you heard, that she still has some things. Yes, some outstanding things. <laughs> She wants to complete. Hallelujah. Right? We'll see when she can come back and bless us. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Right? We are continuing. Last night we started, yes, a topic which says uh, violent prayers against dream attacks. And we are continuing with those prayers because we are dreaming every day. Every day, every night. Every night someone is dreaming a dream that is disturbing them. Hallelujah. Even multiple dreams. Hallelujah. Dreams that are not nice. Or dreams that are disturbing them. That they don't know what it means. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're going to, without any further ado, let's move on. Because we've got some notes to cover. Hallelujah. So burning prayers against dream attacks. And we saw that it is the devil and his agents who are behind the horrible dreams and the attacks that we are experiencing. Hallelujah. So in the Bible, we've got so many different accounts of God speaking through dreams to his people. Hallelujah. Good dreams. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we see that, yes, we know in Genesis that Joseph dreamt, he dreamt some dreams about his future, about his destiny. Hallelujah. And of course, he faced some opposition. We know also that Pharaoh dreamt some dreams. We know Solomon dreamt some dreams. We know the Magi who came, who were following the star of Jesus when he was born. Yes, they were warned in a dream not to go back to Herod. Hallelujah. And we know also that Joseph, the caretaker father of our Lord Jesus Christ, right, was warned in a dream to take the baby to Egypt, to run away with the baby Jesus to Egypt, and, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. Some good dreams. God communicates with us in dreams. Hallelujah. There was a time when I was not taking my dreams seriously. Hallelujah. I, I didn't have any teaching. I didn't have any. There was no reference of dreams where I was going to church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just worshiping and praying and worshiping God and praising God and, uh, and talk and, 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 and other things. But dreams, it was not an area that was touched. Hallelujah. So I started, I, I was dreaming and I used to just ignore the dreams. Hallelujah. And until I started to see what I was dreaming in real life. Hallelujah. I, could, I started to hear conversations of people in my dreams. I started to see people talking in their bedrooms and arguing, or a man and his wife arguing in their bedroom or somewhere. And, and then in real life, I, it, it, it was true. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 And the other thing was, right, I started to dream songs. I, I used to associate dreams with the devil that it's the devil. Anything, it's just the devil. And that's just a ignore them. But when I started to dream songs of worship, I started to, to realize that 
The devil cannot give me, give me a, a worship song. Let's move on, Jesus mighty name. So what are the sources of dreams? Right? We've got three sources of dreams. Dreams can come from God, come from the devil, or they can come from the flesh. Hallelujah. So the dreams that come from God, they come to encourage us. They come to reassure us or to assure us of certain things. They come to direct us. They come to instruct us, to correct us. And they come to reveal certain things to us. Those are the dreams from God. Hallelujah. I remember buying a machine, a recording machine for my recording studio. I didn't know how to operate it. I was just going. And I remember sleeping. And someone was with me on the desk and telling me, go and do this, do this, turn that thing up, that knob, and do this and do this. You know, when I woke up, I went on in my studio and I started to do exactly what I was instructed in the dream. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. And my sound started to come out like that. Hallelujah. So a dream that comes from the devil is a terrifying dream. It's a, it's a dream of attack. Hallelujah. Like what we are going to look at now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. And the dreams that come from the flesh can be just a replay of what we were preoccupied with during the day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we know that also the devil uses what we preoccupy ourselves with. If we are watching horror and before we go to sleep, most likely we are going to dream some bad dream. You have a, dream, a bad dream. Hallelujah. The devil is looking for a way of getting entry into our dreamland, into our dreams, and then attack us. So we should not open a gate. Hallelujah. Oh, right, okay, let's move on in Jesus' name. Some people say, no, I don't dream at all. I don't dream. Hallelujah. I don't think that there is anyone who does not dream. I want to believe that, right, if we, we say we do, not be, we do not dream, it means we are just not remembering our dreams. I want to believe that everyone is dreaming it's just a problem of not remembering the dreams. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes we wake up and we are aware that I was dreaming something, but our minds are blank. We can't remember anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, because there, there is a, a dream eraser. There is a satanic power who is coming to attack us and then he wipes the memory so that we don't remember and we don't take the appropriate action. If it was prayer, there were some, some people who were dreaming again and again. Vis very vivid dreams. Before they started to pray the fire prayer. <laughs> and when they came to fire prayer, then they started to not remember the dreams. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil now is saying, okay, now this person is awake now. He now knows what, how to deal with me. Now let's do something. Let's erase the memory. Say, get away, Satan, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So if we are not remembering our dreams, it means we cannot get instructions from God. It also means that the enemy is just coming and do whatever he wants and he's going away and de detected. And sooner or later, we're just going to be uh, discouraged in our prayers and say, I don't know why my prayers are not working. Yet God is coming to warn us and to tell us some things in the dream, but we can't just remember and we are not taking the proper, uh, uh, proper action. We are not praying the proper prayer to counter the dream. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, there are some of the dreams which we, 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 we know. These are terrible dreams. Hallelujah. If you dream yourself going to the village, it means backwardness. There are some powers that are fighting your progress in life. Hallelujah. You see yourself in your former school. 
You see yourself in your in, in the primary school, in the beginning of education, when we're a small girl or when a small boy, and you are in class and you are seeing yes, the, the mistress, we used to have mistress, hallelujah, the teacher, hallelujah, in the primary school. That's not a good dream. It needs to be cancelled in the name of Jesus. If you dream of a strong wind blowing against you, it, you need to cancel the dreamer. Need to counter that dream. Carrying a baby in your dream. That's not a good one. Wearing torn clothes in your dream. Finding yourself naked in the dream. That's not a good dream. It means disgrace. It means shame. Hallelujah. And that one of carrying a baby, it means the devil is trying to use something acceptable. A baby who is innocent and you are compassionate about the baby and then you say, let me take the baby and there's no harm with the baby. Yet the devil is trying to get entrance with no resistance. He is coming, camouflaging. He has to be de de dealt with in a heavy way. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Some with a man who comes trying to sleep with someone. Hallelujah. Right? The act itself is supposed to bring joy and so forth, right? But the enemy is coming to attack using something that is that was created by God to bring joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But yet he is coming with poison. He is coming to attack. He is coming to, to cause misery. He is coming. The devil is he, he needs to put, be put in his place in the mighty name of Jesus. If you lose your certificate, sir, in your dream, your certificates are missing. Your quality or your, your paper, important paperwork is just missing. Your wallet is missing or is stolen in your dreams. That's not a good one. If you dream yourself picking coins from the ground, right, or being given some coins, dirty coins in your dream, that's not a good dream. Hallelujah. Sitting for an exam which you not able to complete. When you wake up, when you wake up, you just find out uh, that you haven't completed the exam. That's not a good dream. Hallelujah. Discussing with the dead. Hallelujah. Discussing and you are having a conversation. Or you are eating with the dead. You are having a, a great time with the people. You know that these are late. That the spirit of death and hell programmed against our lives. But now... We now know how to pray in the name of Jesus. Want to emphasize this one because it's coming again and again. That there is an entity that is coming up to have sex with us in our dreams. That this one is a recurring dream. It's, and it's, it's like the, the power is a stubborn power who is coming to have sex with us in the dream. Hallelujah. That is a very bad dream. Hallelujah. It's the work of what is called a spiritual husband or marine husband or marine wife or sp marine spiritual wife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Their main purpose is to control, to rule, to dominate, to abuse, to manipulate, to plunder and dispossess their victim of every good thing that is coming their way. Hallelujah. Someone is about to receive a breakthrough and then the previous night before the manifestation of their breakthrough, someone comes to sleep with them. And then the deal now goes in the wrong direction. The breakthrough never materializes. The promise is now falls down on the ground. Hallelujah. So the aim is to plunder, to manipulate, to dominate, to rule, to dispossess the victim of every good thing that is earmarked for them by God. These marine powers are ruthless. They are coming to destroy one's marriage. Hallelujah. They are coming to destroy someone's social business and financial life. They are coming to do a total ruin on someone's life. 
They are coming to cut a covenant in the spirit realm with someone that we know Christ is... Oh, I don't have time. Jesus Christ. Right. We know Christ is the husband of the church. And now this marine power, who is the serpent, is coming to cut a covenant by sleeping with someone. So that they have a marital kind of a covenant. Hallelujah. Until death do us part. And the other aim is to reproduce in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we'll talk about it later. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we need to neutralize these powers. And the other aim that they have is to rubbish someone's prayer life. We are praying. And the powers that we are fighting, they are sending a marine husband, a marine wife, to try and neutralize our prayer life. Right? Once they manage to get intimate with, with someone, it means now it's legal. There is now a covenant. And now they can use that legal loophole to do harm against someone. Hallelujah. Because they say, I'm married to this person. Therefore, I have a right and I can hinder, I can do what I want with this person. So now we need to be ruthless against the marine men or marine wife, marine woman who is coming and attacking us in our dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus, we need to fast and pray. If this is serious and too serious or recurring in our lives, we need to confront it. The marine spirit, the marine power who is coming to sleep with someone, coming to touch and activate and captivate someone in their dreams and seduce someone in their dreams. They have to be tackled in a heavy-handed way. In the name of Jesus. In a brutal way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you can mute yourself, that would be fantastic. In the name of Jesus. Just make sure that your phone is... Up. Is, uh, is muted. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Right? If your dress gets missing, right, the wedding dress, right? I don't have uh, any more uh, time right here. Right? It means your marriage is under attack. Mute your sister, please. Sorry, mute your, your phone, please, my sister, if you can. Jesus, mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Right? So it means your marriage is under attack. If you see yourself naked, it means disgrace and insecurity. Hallelujah. The enemy is planning to disgrace someone publicly. To undress someone in public. So it's easy is guessing it or establishing it in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. I don't have any time anymore. Right. So if you see yourself in a, on a funeral service, it means the spirit of death and hell is being programmed against someone. You have to disband the funeral. You have to scatter the funeral. You have to set on fire the satanic priest who is conducting that funeral service. And those people who are gathering right there are not your friends. They are not your relatives. Those people in black are just agents of Satan. They are aiming to program death and hell in someone's life. Hallelujah. So now we need to pray. We read yesterday in uh, Matthew chapter 13 that the enemy is coming to sow tears. He's coming to sow weeds. He's coming to sow things whilst we are asleep. He is using our dreams. Hallelujah. And now let's take another scripture. First Peter chapter 5 verse 8 he says, Be well balanced, be temperate and be sober of mind. Be vigilant and be cautious at all times. For that enemy of yours, the devil, roams around like a lion, roaring in fierce hunger, seeking someone to seize, to seize upon and to devour. So where is this, uh, this enemy roaring? Where is he roaming? In our dreams. He is roaring in our dreamland. 
He's coming into our dreams. And he's looking for someone to seize on and to, to devour. He's looking for someone to pounce on. That's why now he does the dream attacks. He comes camouflaging. We know the serpent is a deceptive entity. We know he is a seducing power. We know he is a, a lying spirit. So he comes camouflaging because he knows he's dirty. He cannot be received. So he uses tricks. He uses camouflages. He comes like an angel of light. He comes like a wolf in sheep's clothing. All disguising because he knows that he is bad and he means disaster for, for his victim. Hallelujah. If the, the victim is asleep. Hallelujah. Let us pray, ladies and gentlemen. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Make me a child of God. I know I'm a sinner and I cannot save myself. Lord Jesus Christ, I know you died for me on the cross. You shed your blood on the cross. You rose from the dead on the third day. Now I'm asking you to come into my heart and make me a child of God. Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart and forgive me of every sin in my life. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me of every sin in my life. Lord Jesus Christ, Cleanse me with your blood from inside out. Lord Jesus Christ, I know I'm a sinner and I cannot save myself. Lord Jesus Christ, I need you in my life. Lord Jesus Christ, I cannot go anywhere without you. I'm asking you to come into my heart and make me a child of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, take permanent residence in my life. As my savior, as my savior, as my king, as my master. And you, Satan, you are no longer my master. I command you to leave me alone in the name of Jesus. You, Satan, with your seduction. You, Satan, with your witchcraft. You, Satan, with your evil. You, Satan, with your wickedness. Leave me alone now by fire. Leave me alone now by fire. Leave me alone now by fire. In the name of Jesus, I no longer believe, belong to you. I belong to Jesus Christ. Say, my God, my Father, I thank you that I'm your child now forever. Thank you for eternal life. And I commit myself to living a holy life, a God-fearing life. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father, for salvation. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Now we are going to tackle that one now. That marine power that is coming to pollute us in our dreams. That marine power that is trying to rubbish our prayer lives. The marine power that is trying to establish a legal ground of getting married to us in the spirit realm. And then paralyze our prayers pollute us and cause us to stink in the spirit realm. That marine power, it has to die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say every marine power that is coming into my dreams, you marine power coming into my dreams to sleep with me, to be intimate with me, your time is up. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Say you marine power, you agent of Satan, you sangoma that is coming and sleeping with me in my dreams. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Say you marine power that is coming to molest me in my dreams and establish that and establish a covenant in the spirit realm to nullify my prayers. Yes, I command you to be destroyed now by the fire thunder of God. I command you to be scattered now by fire. I command you to be scattered now by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you marine men, 
coming to attack me my dreams up. I command you uh, to be cut into pieces uh, with the sword of fire. I command you uh, to be cut into pieces uh, by the sword of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Pray, pray, <laughs> pray nicely in the name of Jesus. Uh, you hear the way I'm praying? Uh, yes, multiply that one 75 times in the name of Jesus. And that tormenting spirit uh, that is coming, this stubborn and cheeky spirit man. Uh, that is coming to attack you. The spirit lady. That is coming to attack you. In your dreams. They will leave you alone. In the name of Jesus. You will now be too hot. Your bedroom will be too hot. Surrounded with fire. That as you pray from the bottom of your heart. In the name of Jesus. Say you marine power. Coming to attack me in my dreams. Your time is up. Catch fire. And burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you marine entity coming to attack me in my dreams, touching me in wrong places in my dreams, caressing me and kissing me in my dreams. I crush your head. I destroy you by fire. I destroy you by fire. I destroy you by fire. In the name of Jesus, you marine power, you marine entity that is coming up into my dreams uh, and sleeping with me uh, and being intimate uh, with me. Uh, your time is up. Uh, I command you uh, to catch fire and burn to ashes uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, your time is up. Uh, catch fire and burn to ashes. Uh, your time is up. Uh, catch fire and burn to ashes. Uh, your time is up. Uh, catch fire and burn to ashes. Uh, your time is up. Uh, catch fire and burn to ashes. Uh, you marine men uh, coming to attack me uh, in my dreams. Uh, coming to be uh, intimate uh, with me uh, in my dreams. Uh, I command you uh, to catch fire and burn to ashes. Uh, I command you uh, to catch fire and burn to ashes. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, you marine men. Uh, you marine woman. Uh, that is coming up. Uh, to entice me up, coming up, to seduce me up, in my dreams up. I command you up, to scatter by fire. I command you up, to scatter by fire. I command you up, to scatter by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say any satanic power that is coming up. Yes, to seduce me in my dreams up. And sleep with me. And be intimate with me. To pollute me in the spirit realm. To contaminate me in the spirit realm. To cause me to stink in the spirit realm. Yes, I command you to be bound. Be chained with the chains of fire. And be thrown into hell fire. Be arrested. Be chained with the chains of fire and be thrown into hell fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, you marine power that is coming into my dreams. You satanic power, you witchcraft animal that is appearing in my dreams and attacking me as a man. I command you to be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. You witchcraft animal that is appearing in my dreams and attack me as a man or a woman and sleep with me. I command you to be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Be destroyed and be defeated by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say you satanic power, you marine men, you marine wife, coming to establish a covenant, coming to establish a legal ground in order to rubbish my prayers in the spirit realm. I command you to be scattered now by the blood of Jesus. I command you to be scattered now by the blood of Jesus. I command you to be scattered now by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you spiritual children that are appearing in my dreams. I command you to be scattered by fire. I command you to be scattered by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say any dream of a funeral service manifesting in my dreams. I scatter you by fire. In the name of Jesus, say you dream of a funeral service manifesting in my dreams. I scatter you by fire. 
In the name of Jesus, I scatter you by fire. In the name of Jesus, say any evil gathering, gathering for a funeral service in my dreams. I disband you and I scatter you into desolation by fire. I scatter you into desolation by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say I set on fire every satanic priest that is conducting a funeral service in my dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus, I set on fire every satanic priest that is conducting a funeral service in my dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus, say any power and spirit that is programming death and hell into my life, I command you to go back and attack your sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, you satanic power programming death and hell into my life and manifesting in my dreams as a funeral service or someone dead, I command you to be scattered by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command you to be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, say any dream of discussing with the late relatives, any dream of talking with the late friends in my dreams, I command you to be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. You demonic dreamer, you satanic dreamer, you dreamer of death and hell, you are not going to manifest in my life. You are not going to mature in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, say any dreamer of death and hell programmed into my life. You are not going to mature in the name of Jesus. Say any dreamer of death that has been programmed and is manifesting in my dreams. I, you are not going to mature in the mighty name of Jesus. Say spirit of death and hell programmed against my family, programmed against my house. Your time is up. I command you to be scattered by fire. I command you to be scattered by fire. I command you to be scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You remember, remember we are in the ember manza. Hallelujah, where the devil is frantic and is busy, he is determined to cause someone to fall. Hallelujah, we have the power in the name of Jesus to cancel the agenda of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have the power through the name of Jesus to cancel death. In the name of Jesus, we have the power through the name and the blood of Jesus to cancel every agenda of death and hell. That has been programmed against our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are not afraid of anything. Yes, we are as bold as lions. And therefore, every pseudo lion that is roaming around, trying and looking for someone to devour, we set it on fire and we cut it into pieces. In the mighty name of Jesus, say every spirit of death and hell, that has been programmed against my family. That has been programmed against my life. You are not going to mature against my house. You are not going to mature against my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, you spirit of death and hell, programmed against my life. You are not going to mature against me. In the name of Jesus, you are not going to mature against my house. In the mighty name of Jesus, spirit of death and hell, that has been programmed against my life. You are not going to mature. In the name of Jesus, I cancel the agenda of the devil of death and hell programmed against me. In the name of Jesus, I use the blood of Jesus to cancel the agenda of the devil against my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cancel the agenda of death and hell programmed against me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cancel the agenda of witches and wizards to knock me down in this ember manza. In the mighty name of Jesus, I use the blood of Jesus as to command and to cancel every spirit of death and hell programmed against my house 
programmed against my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cancel every spirit of death and hell that has been programmed against my life. Say every evil wind of death and hell that has been assigned to blow against me. I command you to go back and destroy your sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil wind that has been assigned to blow death into my house, into my family, into my marriage, into my children, into my finances, into my health, I command you to go back and destroy your sender. Go back and destroy your sender. Go back and destroy your sender, go back and destroy your sender. Every evil wind of death and hell that has been assigned against my life, I command you to go back and blow against your sender. Go back and destroy your sender. Go back and destroy your sender by fire, by fire, by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, say I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover my house with the blood of Jesus. I cover everything that concerns me with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, say spirit of death and hell programmed against my children, programmed against my daughter, programmed against my, my son. I command you to fail and go back to your sender. Go back and destroy your sender. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say spirit of death and hell. That has been programmed against my husband. Against my wife. Against my loved ones. I command you to go back and destroy your sender. In the name of Jesus. Say every shrine that is programming. There's dreams of death and hell against me. I set you on fire. In the name of Jesus. Say every shrine of the Sangoma that is programming dreams of death and hell into my life. I command you to be set on fire. I command you to be set on fire. I set you 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 on fire. In the name of Jesus, say every wicked altar. Every altar of the wicked. That is programming death and hell into my life. You are a liar. I set you on fire now. In the name of Jesus. Say I release fire and brimstone. I release the violent tempest of the Lord. To go and destroy every shrine. To go and destroy every altar of wickedness. That is programming death and hell into my house. That is programming evil into my house in the mighty name of Jesus say I release the tornado of the Lord to go and spin into destruction every satanic priest who is standing on an evil altar and programming dreams of disaster into my dreams in the mighty name of Jesus say you satanic priest that is programming that is standing on an evil altar and programming uh, dreams uh, of death and hell, uh, dreams uh, of stagnation, uh, dreams uh, of pollution, uh, dreams uh, of disgrace, uh, dreams uh, of shame, uh, dreams uh, of insecurity, uh, dreams of poverty, uh, dreams of backwardness. Uh, I command you uh, to go down to hell by fire. I spin you into hell fire with a fan of fire. I spin you up. Uh, I blow you down into hell fire with the fan of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. You Sangoma, you witch doctor, you native doctor, you sorcerer, you babalawe, you herbalist, you magician that is standing on an evil altar and program dreams of disaster against my life. Dreams of disaster to destroy my marriage. Dreams of disaster to destroy my family. Dreams of disaster to destroy my health. You are a liar. I command you to be blown into destruction now by the fan of fire. 
be destroyed now by the violent tempest of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Be spinned into hell fire with the whirlwind of the Lord, with the flames of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I decree my heart, I confess with my mouth, divine favor upon me, divine protection in my life, divine progress in my life, in the name of Jesus. I decree my heart, I confess with my mouth that I'm the head, I'm not the tail, I'm on top, I'm not below, I'm above, I'm not beneath, in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree my heart, I confess with my mouth, I receive divine protection, I receive divine preservation, I receive divine life, I receive divine victory, I receive divine shining, I receive divine glory, I receive divine healing, I receive divine favor, I receive divine blessings, I receive divine progress, I receive divine elevation, I receive divine promotion, I receive divine understanding, I receive divine wisdom, I receive divine business, I receive divine career, I receive my divine office. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree my heart, I confess with my mouth that I'm healthy, abundantly healthy. I am rich, abundantly rich. I am successful, abundantly successful. I am prosperous, abundantly prosperous. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Say, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover everything that concerns me with the blood of Jesus. I cover every part of my body with the blood of Jesus. I cover every organ of my body with the blood of Jesus. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. I cover everything that concerns me with the blood of Jesus. Say witchcraft chains that were being used by the marine men to time to sleep with me. You are broken into pieces by the blood of Jesus. Say every witchcraft chain that was being used by the marine power to attack me in my dreams. You are scattered into pieces by fire. You are scattered into pieces by fire. You are scattered into pieces by fire. In the name of Jesus, say evil covenants that were being used by the marine powers to attack me in my dreams. You are nullified. You are overruled. You are destroyed forever by the blood of Jesus. You are destroyed forever by the name of Jesus. Say every curse, every ex, every jinx, every spell, incantations, enchantments, divinations, beguilements, bewitchments, astral projections into my dreams. You are destroyed. You are cancelled. You are nullified now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Say any marine power that is projecting themselves into my dreams to attack me. You are scattered into pieces by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say every marine woman, marine man, Coming to attack me in my dreams. Coming to molest me in my dreams. I cut you to pieces with the sword of fire. I cut you to pieces with the sword of fire. I cut you to pieces with the sword of fire. I cut you to pieces with the sword of fire. I cut you to pieces with the sword of fire. In the name of Jesus, say manifest now. My divine victory, manifest now. My divine glory, manifest now. My divine blessings, manifest now. Manifest now. Manifest now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.